welcome to the Trill NBA Show. I'm your host, Felicia Ann Rose Anuha, aka the Trillest NBA you will ever know. And I'm here to help you survive and thrive in corporate America by giving you the truth and being as real as only I can be. Happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome back from the break. It is December 1st, which means we have 30 days. And, you know, there's holidays in there, so really less than 30 days. But 30 calendar days from today, and then it's the end of a decade. We're going into a new decade. It's 2020. Like, we've got 30 days. What are you going to do in these 30 days to make sure you set yourself up for career success in 2020? That's what we're going to talk about today. Okay, I have three things for you guys to think about doing in the next 30 days that will definitely help you set yourself up for success in 2020 as far as it comes to your career. So the first thing that you need to do this month and you need to set a target date to get it done before you leave the office for the holidays. So really and truly, you got about two weeks to get your life together, sis, okay? But the first thing you need to do is update your resume. Now, I know some of y'all are like, girl, my resume is always ready. And to you, I say, yay, kudos, you won, ding, ding, ding. You get a prize, you get a prize, you get a prize. Yeah, (laughs) great. But for most of us, we are busy. We are grinding. We're trying to make it work. We've got responsibilities at work. We've got responsibilities outside of work. Many of us are not just career women. We are daughters. We are mothers. We are wives. We are sisters. We are aunties. We are a lot of things to the world. And because of that, a lot of times we put ourselves on the back burner. But when it comes to your career and the housekeeping things that you need to get done to get ready for an amazing career journey in 2020, is to update your resume. This is the perfect time. Most of us are on a calendar year. So this time of year is perfect because everything's winding down. Everyone has just kind of given up (laughs) at this point. (laughs) Like, let's try again next year. Um, You know, you're looking at what you've got accomplished. This is a time for reflection. So this is the perfect time as you are preparing for your end of year reviews and conversations. Or even if you're not on the fiscal, you should be at a halfway mark or at a mark where you should be looking at what you have accomplished over the past 11 to 12 months, right? And in that, you need to pull out new bullet points to use to update your resume. (laughs) Cha-ching. It's perfect, you guys. So things that have made the company money, saved the company money, things you were the first to do, or something, you know, that resonates in your field or your industry or in your role. If you haven't updated your resume in so long that your current role is not even on your resume, yeah, girl, it's time. (laughs) It's so time. So take the time out, update your resume. And if you have any questions, hit me up at ask at trillmba.com. I'm not the resume person, but I have a couple of awesome resume people on deck that I can send you to. Don't get any kickbacks from it or anything like that. These are just people I know personally, and I know they are Black Girl Magic when it comes to these things, and I know they will do you right. So 
If you are looking to take your resume up to the next level, hit me up at ask at trillmba.com and I will make that referral for you. When we get back from the break, I'm going to talk about something that we don't quite think about often because we're always interacting with it. (laughs) So we don't think of, oh, maybe I should analyze this in the mind frame of furthering my career. So we'll talk about it when we get back from the break. Hey, you guys. So I am working on some ideas for new content for season four and possibly some new formatting of the show. So with that said, I want to know if you guys want me to share listener letters on the air. And if you do and you have certain situations and you feel like, hey, I want everybody to know that this stuff happens because it happened to me, then hit me up at ask at trillmba.com and tell me your story. Tell me what you want me to share. Tell me if I can get into a little bit of the nitty gritty. I'm not going to share company details unless it's all out there and you're a guest on the show. (laughs) So we're not here to blast companies. What we are here to do with the listener letters is take your situation and help the next sister trying to make it through the same thing. So if you want to be of help, hit me up, ask at trillmba.com. Share your story with me. I will definitely be cognizant of we all need our checks. And hopefully we can all have some good learnings, right? Because everybody's experience is a little different. But there's so many things that are so similar that we really need to start telling our stories. So hit me up and let's get back to the show. So in the first segment, we talked about the first thing you need to do is update your resume. And please don't do these things out of order because they actually build on each other. So first, update your resume. Really understand what you've accomplished in the past year. Now, the second thing we don't think about a lot. Why? Because we're always on it. We're always online. We're always on social. We're always on this daggum computer. But the thing that we never do is Google ourselves or take a look at our digital footprint. So again, this is another time in the year that is perfect to take a look at your digital footprint, to analyze your LinkedIn. And after you update your resume, guess what? Now you can update your LinkedIn. Oh, you don't have a LinkedIn? Mm -mm -mm. I'm not even going to shame you because I know for some of us, this social crap is just that crap. (laughs) But if you know that you may be wanting to explore new opportunities career-wise in 2020, you've got to update your LinkedIn or you've got to sign up for LinkedIn. LinkedIn should pay me for this, but they're not. (laughs) But I'm telling you, LinkedIn is a great career resource and they have made themselves so and they have figured out how to monetize it. So I'm not going to knock LinkedIn hustle. I'm going to jump on in there and get my LinkedIn on. So I would advise you to do the same. Now, I need you to be strategic about what you're putting on your LinkedIn and how you are packaging yourself. What is your brand story, right? And that's why you need to check your digital footprint. You need to understand what is the world saying about you when they go online, right? Or when I go online, what can I learn about you? And this is important, especially now, because a lot of HR people, they Google you. They look and see you, like, what is out there about you? 
So make sure you understand what is out there about you, number one. Number two, if there's stuff out there that you feel isn't representative of who you want to show yourself to be, if it isn't aligned to the personal brand that you're creating, well, then you need to think about the security options. Like, you know, if you have a Twitter and you're loose fingers on Twitter and it doesn't matter because you're not famous, what does it look like to lock that down, secure that? I know for a lot of people, it feels like a hassle because then when people want to follow you, you have to accept them and all that stuff. But if you know that you need to be more protective of your online identity, then lock all that stuff down. Like, everything isn't for everybody, okay? So you don't have to let everybody in on your social media or your online presence. Like, it's just not... I don't even know how else to say that. (laughs) But you do need to be aware. Now, what if you find something you're like, oh, shit, (laughs) How to get rid of it? You know, honestly, I don't actually know. So if anybody out there is an expert about how to get rid of things or how to better manage your social media presence, especially in the context of managing your career, hit me up at ask at trillinvas.com. I actually want to have you on the show. Or if you guys know somebody that's really good at that stuff and you think they'd be good for the show, you think other people should know about them, refer them to me. Let me know. If you have a guest referral, hit me up. Now, I'm going to tell you now, I'm real picky about who's on this show. And it has to be somebody who can give you actual tips, like actual things that you can go do. And they're not just trying to sell you something or not just trying to promote themselves. Like, we're not here for that. What we are here for is to get these tips, tricks, tactics, and strategies to climb the corporate ladder. That is what we are trying to do. And so we're going to keep the main thing the main thing. Okay? So when we come back from a quick break, I am going to tell you the last and probably the most important thing that you need to be doing this month to set yourself up for an amazing career journey in 2020. So I will hit you with the goodies when we get back. So it's currently 11.35 p.m. and I am working on this podcast. And sometimes, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, Oh, life. Um, But then I go to the reviews and I see reviews like this one. Love this podcast by H.R. Bay. So see y'all H.R. people, y'all be listening. (laughs) H.R. Bay says, this podcast has changed my life and my perspective and my career. I thought I was the only person that was going through crazy stuff in corporate America. I've learned how to take my career back and not throw in the towel. Thanks, Trill and BA. Much love and respect to you. And so at 11.36, I am going to still be working on this podcast because I just remember when I felt the same that I'm like, okay, one of us is crazy and I'm saying it's not me and y'all are saying it's me and I'd be damned. (laughs) Sis, you are not alone. So thank you for listening. Thank you guys for your support. You are the reason why I do this podcast because I want us to know and believe that we are everything and anything we put our minds to, that we can take this world by storm, be it entrepreneurship, be it corporate citizenship, and just getting into corporate leadership and running the hell out of this world like 
you know, basically Beyonce be telling us, we run the world, y'all. So we just have to own it. And I just want to say thank you for leaving comments and reviews and your emails. Please keep it coming because as you can see, since I started working, I can't just record in the middle of the day (laughs) like I used to. So I appreciate you guys. Please go to iTunes or Apple Podcasts or whatever app you listen to and you can rate, review. Please do that stuff. Please tell your friends. Do not keep this podcast to yourself. Tell people about this information and I'm going to continue to work to bring you content that's actionable in real time that you can take and work on and use every week. That is my promise. I want to see us rise to the top of wherever our journey takes us. And we can do it. And I want you to have somewhere you can come every week and just have somebody tell you that you got this. Because you do. All right, you guys. I love you. And let's wrap up the show. All right, welcome back. Oh my God, I'm still tripping. It is December 1st, you guys. December 1st, 2019. 30 days are left in the 2000 teens. Oh boy. I know, right? I can't believe it either. But my question to you is, do you feel like you have been living life Or do you feel like life has been living you? One of the reasons why I started this podcast is because I felt like for the bulk of my career, I have not been intentional about what I wanted for my career. Hell, what I wanted for my life. And some of that shit I'm still working on, y'all. I'm going to be honest. Like... (laughs) I don't know what I'm doing out here. I'm just doing my best every day. That's all we really can do, right? But what I've come to realize, especially working on the show, is that if you don't have an intention, if you don't sit down and say, this is what I would like to see, this is my goal or my dream or my idea, if you don't do that intentionally. You're setting yourself up to just take whatever happens. So the third thing I need you to do this month, and it starts with some meditation, some quiet time. And I know that's hard, but maybe it's, you know, just cutting everything off on your drive to work. It's just taking some time out to think and think about what you want your intention to be for 2020. By the end of 2020, what do you want to see come to fruition for your career? What should your career look like in an ideal world? by the end of next year. So by this time next year, when I do this episode for 2020, (laughs) what should have happened in those 12 months, in those 365 days for your career? So for example, for me, As you guys now know, I started a new job. I went back to corporate. Um, My bank account said, bitch, uh, I need you to get a job. (laughs) And I was like, I can't stand you. (laughs) But I realized, you know, I'm still new. I'm in my first 90 days. And... Sometimes it feels hard to think longer term when you're so new, but something I've always wanted to try, something I've always wanted to be, 
and be seen as in these organizations is high potential talent. And as a black woman, being seen as high potential talent is a difficult task. And a lot of people are like, huh? What? No. So let me explain a little bit. Let me take a little time. My definition of being seen as high potential talent is not just marking me hypo in an HR file. When you are truly seen as high potential talent, you are seen as someone we can put in the plans, in the succession planning, someone that we really invest in their career because we want them to be a senior leader in the organization. And I see that externally happening. I've, I've seen it happening. And, oh my God, I'm getting emotional. Um, <laughs> in my career, I have seen it happen for so many white people. <laughs> Just going to be honest. Like, I think of all the organizations I've been in, there's always a white man or white woman. And for whatever reason or how, right, it's always been a mystery to me. I've been working so hard, which was another reason why I started this podcast. Because I would see these people, these senior leaders, and I would look at them and be like, (laughs) and it's not that they're not smart. They're smart, but they're not smarter than me. They're no better than me. And I'm not saying I'm any better than them. But what I'm saying is, I could do what they do if I was groomed. If I was tapped, if I was picked, if I was chosen, and I just didn't understand what made them so different to get picked, to be tapped, than me or any of my other Black colleagues. And it's been so frustrating, (laughs) which is why I'm getting emotional. I'm feeling that frustration in sharing this with you guys. And so now that I have a new opportunity, and with the knowledge that I've gained from creating this show and looking up information and studying how to get ahead in my career, because I firmly believe that fuck all the bullshit, microaggressions, racism, sexism, fine. We're always going to have a fucking obstacle. Fine. But I just refuse to believe that just because of all that shit, I still can't defy the odds, that I can't be the anomaly, that I can't make it to places that my ancestors prayed for but could never dream of. I just refuse to believe that I'm not good enough because I'm Black or because I'm a woman. And so because of that, my intention is to make sure I'm doing everything I know I can do in my power to signal to the organization that I am someone who can lead and be a leader and add value and be great and take this organization to higher heights. And I'm I'm over here choking back tears because it's so frustrating. I know you guys know. That's why you listen to this podcast. Like... I know I'm not alone. I know there's so many ambitious women because this is why Black women are leaving corporate, right? Like, this is why we're going to be entrepreneurs in droves because at the end of the day, it's like, fuck you. You think I ain't shit? You treating me like I ain't shit? Well, fuck you. I'll show you because I'll take all I learned from working and giving you all this value that you didn't appreciate and I will go build my own and say, fuck you, workplace, corporate America, right? Like, we all feel that way. But guess what, guys? All of us don't want to be entrepreneurs. Like, I know I see it. I see it on the internet. Like, what we need to do as Black people, we need to leave corporate America, and we need to go do our own thing. Yeah, like, I can't see how we all get to leave. Maybe... There's something I'm missing. I don't know. You guys tell me. But all I know is 
Some of us can't leave, right? So what we going to do? We just going to sit there and just be a worker bee knowing that we would be so much better thriving in the gifts that we have if we were truly given the opportunity to lead organizations, to lead teams, to manage huge P&Ls, to drive big business. But that takes someone saying, I see you. I see your talent. I know you can do this. And I'm going to open these doors for you. And so my intention for 2020 (laughs) is to work to show up every day and do all the things that I know need to be done and that are in my power to be seen as someone to groom and put into succession. That is my whole intention for 2020, for my career in corporate. Now, my intention for this podcast is to expand the podcast, to grow the podcast, to get more people to listen to podcasts, to touch more Black women. That's really the goal. Um, Give us a space where we don't feel so alone, right? Like, that's why y'all come listen to me every week, right? (laughs) Not just for my Black-ass shenanigans, (laughs) but for these tips that are infused in the Black-ass shenanigans. I want you guys to know I appreciate you. I love your emails. Keep them coming. Um, Schedule time with me. My calendar's back open. I'm starting to figure out, you know, what timing looks like. Uh, From a balance of doing my work, I get a W-2 for, and then doing the work that fuels my soul right now. Not saying my job doesn't give me a sense of joy. It's just, I know (laughs) where my talents would be better served. It's just, I have to pay my dues to get there. Fine. But at least allow me to pay them. So with all that said, you guys, I hope that you had wonderful itis filled Thanksgiving and that you're ready to knock these last 30 days of the year out of the park, that you're going to be intentional, you're going to update your digital footprint, or at least know what your digital footprint is (laughs) for some of (laughs) y'all. At least have a digital presence on LinkedIn if you're looking for new career opportunities. And that you're going to update your resume, right? Those are the things we talked about today. So as always, (laughs) if you need some help or advice about a specific situation, go to trillmba.com slash coaching to schedule a 30-minute strategy call with me to walk through your specific work situation. Now, I'm going to be honest. I probably should quit saying 30 minutes. I strive for 30 minutes, but I really do let my spirit lead me on these calls. And sometimes that takes a little extra time. So uh, plan for your hour. (laughs) But I do try to keep it short and sweet and to the point at the same time and get you the information or connections that you need to further your journey and work yourself out of that particular situation. Now, if you have a quick question or concern, and some of y'all be sending me some stuff, and it is just not quick. Like, I had a listener send me an email about what should they do. They're on a PIP, and they have until, like, the middle of December, and that's going to be their last day. And I was just like, I have to think about this. (laughs) Like, I still am, like, trying to think, like, what's the way to do that? Actually have kind of pinged some of my personal board of directors on that one because it's like, like my first instinct was to be like, girl, just get up out of there. Like, just look, find you something else. But what's hard is during this time of year, everything shuts down. People have holiday on the brain. People aren't really hiring in December. Like, either they're trying to hurry up and fill a position so they won't lose the money or the headcount. You might be able to find that, but 
that's a scary proposition, right? Like people rushing to fill a role. It's, uh, it's, uh. Be cautious, you guys. Take your time. You don't want to run from something. You want to run towards the opportunity. So when you send me letters, sometimes if there's a delay, it's because I got to think about it. But most times I get back to you within like two days or so. But yeah, you can always email me at ask at trillmba.com. If I can't answer your question, I'll connect you to the right person. So again, that's trillmba.com slash coaching to schedule a 30-minute career strategy call with me. Um, And those are $40. And I use that money to reinvest in the show, y'all. I'm not making any money off this. (laughs) Not right now. When you hear real commercials, <laughs> real sponsors, then you know, guys, that I have monetized this podcast. But for now, it's just me and my personal funds that uh, make this show tick. But I'm happy to do that, though, because I know this show is helping so many of y'all, as you've told me. So I'm excited about that. And I know that as we grow, this show will pay for itself in dividends. So I'm not worried about the money, but I do need some help. So the calls are help. Just know that. And quick questions, ask at trillmba.com. And so as always, please subscribe, rate, review on your favorite podcast app, especially if it's iTunes. That helps people learn about the show especially when you leave a review. I love your reviews, you guys. Thank you so much for the reviews. They remind me on the days that it's tough to get the podcast done (laughs) that this is bigger than me and it's bigger than all of us and it's important work. So I love you guys. Have a great month. I'm not sure about new episodes and be honest with you. The move put a monkey wrench in my planning schedule. So just keep riding with me, okay? Just keep rolling with me. And I promise you, I won't try to bring you anything that won't be helpful, right? Every week, if you tune in, you're going to get something that's going to speak to your little spirit and help you in your week, right? That's the goal. So until next time, keep it true. The Trill MBA Show is a Fair World Corp. LLC production. Executive produced by Felicia and Rose Inuha. Sound design and editing by Chris Mann with Podshaper. Theme music is Kick Push by Ryan Little. Keep it trill every day, y'all.